a Menlo project cuisines from West Bengal, India. Directed, edited, and narrated by Nikhil Mishra. My reflections on Annadana, an organic farming community in Bangalore, India. My sixth grade field trip in 2015 to Annadana, which is a soil and seed farming association located in Bangalore was a mind-changing experience. Annadana is involved in trying to spread the message that genetically modified crops are bad for health. Thus, they plant crops which are not genetically modified. We learned that in genetically modified crops, the DNA of the crop is altered and this food has been banned in many countries. It is also very unhealthy and it can cause sickness. The visit to Annadana has made me realize that we should eat what is grown locally and farmers should use seeds that are organic and not genetically modified. Therefore, we should use foods that are made from crops grown locally and are seasonal. For my project, I have chosen the cuisine from West Bengal, a state in East India. Due to the fact that the Ganga flows through the state, the soil is alluvial and very fertile. Rice, fresh vegetables, fish and milk products are the staple foods eaten. West Bengal have distinct seasons of summer, monsoon and winter. The cuisine is also therefore dependent on this factor. But before we begin the journey into food, we should maybe spend a few minutes understanding what contributes to the bong experience and makes a Bengali a Bengali. West Bengal being in the Gangetic Belt is made out of alluvial soil and is surrounded by many water bodies. The green fertile land therefore makes it possible to harvest fresh vegetables and fruits throughout the year. There are lots of water bodies and therefore fishes are an intrinsic part of the cuisine. What is Kolkata, the capital of West Bengal, without its ubiquitous hot bellied ambassador car? And, and also the now disappeared Kulta Pajama Kola Bengal topic? And we taken a uh, research, right? And clam. It lies in the street of the city. The horse should come. Let us look at the average morning in the life of a Bengali and the importance of local markets which sell fresh produce. Let us take a walk to a local market which sells fresh produce. Our first stop is the fish market. You can see the vendors sitting along with the fish and someone dumping the fish in the water. Interesting, isn't it? The fish market is a quintessential Bengali experiment. The fish is ready to be slaughtered. Bengalis are very particular about fish. The 
the vegetable shop are well stocked with seasonal produce. There are also flower shops adjoining. A Mushkin sweet shop, the quintessential Bengali experience. Most of the sweets are made out of milk products. These sweets are called shondesh and are made out of chana, cottage cheese. No function in Bengal, either religious or social, is complete without mishti. Let us look at the food in West Bengal. Nutritional value of foods. Carbohydrates. They provide the energy in your body. Starch and sugar are simple forms of carbohydrates. Protein. They repair your tissues and its simplest form is called amino acids and are found in dairy products. Fats. They are also important for energy and they are our building cells. Their simplest form is either glycerol or fatty acids, vitamins and minerals. They allow the chemical reactions in your body to take place. A winter sweet, a Bengali sweet dish, nolen gur and payesh, rice pudding with jaggery. Nolen gur is mostly available in winter in Bengal. It is a jaggery made from date palm. Ingredients, nolen gur, jaggery, sugar, milk, a little rice and raisins. The milk is boiling for the payesh. Method Thicken the milk and then cook the rice with the milk. After that, switch off the heat and add the jaggery and sugar. The jaggery will melt. The payesh is ready. At the beginning of a Bengali meal, rice is usually served with fried vegetables and dal. Puris can also be an accompaniment. Vegetarian dishes Vegetarian dishes Fried brinjal, eggplant, also called begun bhaja, is an all-time favorite. Cut pieces of brinjal marinated in turmeric powder, salt and a pinch of sugar. Fry them in oil. Fried Karela, Bitter Gourd, and Begun Bhaja. Nutritional Information Fried vegetables are served with Puri and Chana Dal, Bengali Gram Dal. The last section looks at fishes prepared the Bengali way. One can safely state that without a fish preparation in a meal, the Bengali would feel lost. Fishes are an important part in a Bengali meal. The fish being shown here is Mola Kaplet or Morola March, a river water fish. This fish is best when fried in mustard oil and it becomes crispy and tasty. It is usually accompanied by rice and is served at the beginning of a meal after the vegetables. The next recipe is for doi match. Fish in a yogurt based gravy. Ingredients Pieces of a large freshwater fish like rohu or katla. Spices, turmeric, yogurt, ginger, bay leaf, 
cloves and salt mustard oil for frying you can hear the oil sizzle as the fish is being cooked After the fish have been fried, add the seasonings of spices and the yogurt to make the gravy. This is how the prepared doi match looks like. Enjoy! Fishes are eaten throughout the year and they are a fantastic source of protein and all kinds of vitamins. We have reached the end of our journey. I hope I have been able to convince you about the need to be more aware of the foods we eat and that even as we ensure that malnourishment is eradicated through innovative scientific changes in the food farming sectors, we do not lose sight of what our local, regional food habits and practices have to offer. The end.